Citizens, it's that time you are fishing in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am the Wizard, Uncle James. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can notify when we drop by your content, give it a video, like, sharing, all that good stuff. 18 years of age or older, practice your Second Amendment rights. It is not illegal under the Constitution. So, came out to the range, got big ugly with me. 504, my Ruger SR45, and uh, I just wanted to come out and do a little bit of a test with this firearm. As I told you guys and girls, uh, since the day I bought this thing and shot it, anytime I go to New Orleans, it goes with me. Why is that? Everybody know New Orleans is my hometown. Born and raised there. I understand the threat that I'm dealing with when I go home. I know there's good food and partying, but there's knuckleheads always involved. There's always somebody looking to ruin the party. Now, I got two 10 round mags. That's what it came with. It's California compliant. But you know what? This thing puts rounds on target where I need it, and that's why I carry it. I want to eliminate the threat quick and in a hurry. And I want something that's going to have maximum knockdown power. Not to say any other firearm on my own don't have knockdown power. Power. It's just this particular firearm is it's a full nickel. So uh, Ruger is at the security side now. I think they've gotten away from the SR versions. If you can find you one of these, buy it. Man, I don't care that it's used. Buy it, take care of it, man. It, this thing, you'll be very surprised. Be long before the pandemic, I bought this firearm. $300, brand new in the box, never fired. I had an issue, I think, once or twice because the firing pin, after I put around 600 rounds through it, I had a firing pin issue. Uh, I just changed the pin out and got it cleaned a little bit better, man. And I mean, I trust my life with it. If it fails, oh well. But I trust my life with it. So, I'm going to run a couple rounds through it. Oh. That's what I get for half assing. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's what I get for half ass. All right, let's roll with it. It is clear. Yeah, I got my jump, my thumb jammed in there. It was an operator's error. Uh, I'm not gonna blame the fire on. It was an operator's error. Um, yeah, man. Even with the bad arm, man, I can shoot this thing and still don't have too many issues with it. And that's what I like about it. It's a 45. But the recoil is like really, really, really soft on it for it to be a 45. You know, most people hear 45 and they think of when they pull the trigger, the gun doing like that. And for me, even before I broke my arm, man, this thing just was really, really good. Uh, as I say, I always take the general public into consideration when I carry you wouldn't want me carrying something I can't handle in public and risking you and your family or you and your friends or your loved ones or your co-workers that you rock with. That's why it's important to come out and check your firearms. Don't be scared by the caliber. Uh, if it's something you want to carry, check it out first. Because sometimes some of these jokers, they let you know you're shooting a 45. And some of these jokers... Man, you'd be surprised. 
I've had this gun probably seven years, maybe eight years, probably. I've never let anybody shoot this gun that didn't like it. There's people that ask me all the time, hey man, you gonna take that 45 out with you? I like running that 45. It's just a soft shoot for a 45 ACP. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for those of y'all who saw my little blooper, for those of y'all who saw my little blooper, pay attention. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy at all. So, I'm going to shoot at a couple steel targets. I only got a couple more rounds up in here with this thing. Uh, shooting at things that's real low is harder than it looks. People see on TV and just think that it's just the easiest thing to do, man. But it's something you should practice. Especially with a firearm you're going to carry. You never know. You might actually be sitting down and have to shoot. You might have to kneel to shoot. You don't never know where you're going to be at. It's best to know your firearm in different situations. So. Nothing. Nothing. I did get it. A little nick. Um, like I said, uh, I love this firearm. I carry this firearm. I don't care what nobody say. It did lock back after one shot. Uh, once in a while, I may have a hiccup. I still trust my life with it. All I can tell you, my guy don't run up on me. Straight up. I wouldn't carry this if I didn't trust my life with it. Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think about 45 ACP. And until next time, stay safe. Stay armed. This raw, uncut, uncensored. Stay on high, high alert.